Hi, welcome back to the next video in our lecture series. At this lesson, we're going to explain the Millicon oil drop experiment, which is one of the questions that appeared in your worksheet. Just a little quick history. The oil drop was performed by Robert Millikan, American physicist, and Harvey Fletcher in the year 1909, and they determined the elementary charge QE, which we will now know as Q, is the charge of an electron. Uh, this experiment took place in Ryerson Physical Laboratory at the University of Chicago. And Robert Millikan won uh, the Nobel Prize for this because he was the first person to uh, discover the electrical charge of an electron itself. So how did he do that? Uh, here's a very simple drawing of what he did we can go into the all the detail of this incredible experimental setup that he has right over here but it's probably better to just look at this simple model he took a parallel plate with a hole in it and he took one of these atomizers and this is basically your great grandmother's perfume jar a perfume bottle and you squeeze the little bulb and you get a little spray comes out so he charged some oil droplets, sprayed them through this uh, atomizer, and these little droplets would fall through the hole. And since each oil droplet had its own weight, its mass times gravity, which was its weight, it would naturally fall through the hole and would want to land on the bottom plate. But the ingenious part of this experiment was that um, they flipped the direction of the plate so that the field would point up and we would be able to stop the fall, stopping the fall by turning up the potential difference in such a way that this charge would float. So in the case of the fundamental charge of the uh, proton, it's much easier to take an electron off of uh, an atom. I hope you remember that from chemistry. So they knocked electrons off of these uh, oil droplets, giving them a net positive charge, spraying them through the hole. They would want to fall and float down, turning up the electric field. They would then start to rise and be attracted to the negative plate and repelled from the positive plate. So he determine the correct amount of voltage that would cause these positive charges to hover. And the sum of the forces in the y direction, which is equal to QE, minus the weight equals zero. That's a static condition. So he determined that the electrical, electrostatic force would be equal and opposite to the weight of the object. And here it is in a very simple equation. So then he solves for Q where Q is the actual electron or proton charge, and it's equal to mg divided by E. And E, as we know, is V divided by D. So we have mgd over the potential difference. And the wonderful thing is that all of these pieces of information can be experimentally, experimentally determined. So that's how it works. He simply floated a charge between the two plates and knowing the distance between the plates, the amount of voltage or potential difference between the plates and the weight of the oil drop, that ratio always worked out to be what we now know is the 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th of a coulomb right here. Um, this particular experiment, as I read to you before, won a uh, Nobel Prize because he determined the charge of the proton, which we know is equal to the charge of the electron. Okay, now let's take a look at a typical physics regions problem about this millicon oil drop experiment. In question 36, it says the diagram below, which illustrates the millicon oil drop experiment, shows a 3.2 times 10 to negative 14 kilogram oil drop with a charge of negative 1.6 times 10 to negative 18th coulomb. The oil drop was in equilibrium when the upward electrical force of the drop was equal in magnitude 
to the gravitational force on the drop. It's very interesting that the Regents actually takes the time to give you a reminder, a little explanation about what this particular experiment was all about. Uh, sometimes the Regents questions do this, many times they don't. So that's why you have to read the whole question when you do problems like this. And then they give you this great diagram, which is exactly what I showed you in the last slide. Well, what's the magnitude of the electric field intensity when this oil drop was in equilibrium? So this question basically wants to know what was the strength of the electric field? So you have the oil drop pointing down and the electric force is pointing up and they're in balance with each other. The Q is given as negative 1.6, 10 to negative 18 coulombs. The mass was given as 3.2, 10 to negative 14 kilograms. E equals F divided by Q. So the F, right, that's the force acting on this charge, which is 3.1, 10 to the negative 13 newtons. And say, well, where did I get that number for? It was from, it wasn't given in the problem. So here it is. Here's the mass of the charge, charged oil droplet and multiply that by gravity. And that's where your 3.1 times 10 to negative 13 newtons comes from. And that goes right here for force. Q is given, put it right here, do the simple division. And the next thing you know, you have successfully computed the strength of the electric field, F divided by Q, to be 1.9 times 10 to the fifth newtons per coulomb. Okay, that's it. That's how the millicon electric field experiment work to determine the fundamental charge e or q which you do see right here on the front page of the reference table as 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th coulomb we'll see you in the next video